I'm not sure if it's mid one invoker. Because it's picked so early. Usually when you see an invoker pick this early, it, it's a position 4 invoker. But yeah, they can put it on both both positions. Like if LGD shows some crappy hey, bits team ban. that invoker can lane against properly. And invoker mid happens to be good in the game. They could easily put invoker mid still. But those are conditions you're not under control with on Team Secret. But yeah, it's more likely to be position 4 invoker. 10 One seconds inspector, remaining. 5 seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Crystal Maiden. Alchem is still in the pool. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Hmm. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. That's a lot of good things to do to steal already. CM ulti is insane. Both of uh, Tiny's nukes are insane. Some of Invoker's spells are really good. EMP, Cold Snapper are both good. Tornado is good. Actually, Ghostwalk is good too. What else does Wax make? Icefall? Kinda mediocre. I mean, most of Invoker's spells are good to have. Just that they're very long cooldown. EMP, Tornado are both super long cooldown. Thank you, FixBM, for the 26 months, man. Dire team pick. For the 300 bits, man. Slark. Slark. Ten seconds remaining. Mm -hmm. Five seconds remaining. Our last pick for mid one yet. Faceless void. They're fairly flexible with where the heroes go. Like all three heroes can go mid. 
No, they didn't see him right now. And you've seen, I've seen him play Slark mid before too. And he obviously plays Invoker. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Combo lineup. Does Ten C9 seconds Dota remaining. Team still exist? No. C9 doesn't have a Dota 2 team. Five seconds they remaining. have a lot of other random teams though. It's like Overwatch, League of Legends, CSGO. It's like Dota's like the only game they don't have a team in. Dota teams are unstable. They change members very often. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Your hero. What the fuck? Mid one punch mid against Shadow Fiends. Da, da, da. Thank you, Axis005, for, for the 13 came. months. I am Hope doing great, doing man. Well. I am watching mid. Prepare. And this is the most exciting battle. lane I've seen in a while. Just imagine how ruined your lower memory pubs are now. Mid will last pick the punch against Shadow Feed mid. Hey, 
30 seconds to battle. The battle begins. Peace. Three runes. Or four runes. <laughs> All right. All right. Gold graph. Boom. <laughs> easy game. Easy game. I am watching this lane. Oh. Oh no. He's getting two more CS here maybe. <laughs> He has to pull this creep back with aggro. No, it can't. Oh boy. Oh boy, mid one might be in trouble here because he's getting early souls. And not even a punch can manage an SF with early souls. This is worst case scenario. Nine souls. Somebody actually died. At fucking one minute. First oh one. boy. Oh yeah. shit, dude. Oh I shit. Okay. All right. All right, dude. All four runes. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for the 300. And no. Dark Lassa, thank you for the 24. Oh, counter kill. No, he doesn't have hook. He's level two rot. Oh boy, what do you do as a punch mid against a shallow fiend that has max souls after one minute? Because now he can't last hit anymore. He out harasses you. And your kill potential is aligned on a hook. That you don't have yet. He's gonna get it at level 4. But once SF gets power threats, it's like, hmm... Oh, I think he even wins the man fight now on Shelfiend with this much, this much stats. Yeah, very likely. Oh, still no hook, by the way. I don't, I don't think he's killing with hook anyway. Like, even if he's killed it at four. It seems unlikely. Oh man, they're losing side lanes too. Top lane just died, safe lane just died, mid is dying, oh shit dude. He should be getting hook at 5. So he has kill potential for 6 when he gets ulti.
Oh, he leeched XP for that kill. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Thank you, Alex. Read for the free for the eight months. This will come in handy. Then time is money. Dire structures are fortified. He glyphs it. Zero one. He didn't miss. Aim for the catapult. So Somnus couldn't push. Oh no, Zai! Oh no, Zai! Not like this. Oh, mid one. Fucking max range hook. Now guide it. He didn't get flashy. Oh no. Who's that? Selfins. But he's hasted. In fact, he could kill mid one here. Two more hits. There we go. Oh! Oh, I also thought it was enough damage. Even he thought it was enough damage. Uh, that was weird that I didn't kill. Thank you, Mr. Muklala. Muklala for the two months. Flash ship is really short range. It's like 300 or something. That's the range. 450, not 300. He sticked? Oh, that's why. I, I, I didn't see. I was ping so much attention. Was it? Oh, it's two months in a row. It's five total. Thank you very much, Mr. Muklala, for the five. What is this clowny fucking punch pick, man? <laughs> man. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I don't like the invoker kid persona item set. I, I dislike a lot of the clowny things in Dota 2. Because it just fits so poorly into the game. I don't, I don't want to look at this, for example. Like, <laughs> oh, I put this away from my screen, man. Oh. It does look like a law hero too. <laughs> I, I, a lot of things in Dota look really serious and... I wouldn't say nice actually, I was thinking of the word nice but no. A lot of models are ugly in Dota as well. Dota is just kind of following the law route in general. Like even when you look at new hero designs like Mars. Mars, like every single one of his skills is just straight up a law hero. The only thing Mars is missing is a dash. Radiant's middle tower it's not? Is How is it not? It has a skill shot, a long range skill shot. It has a second skill shot that <laughs> depends on your hero's uh, direction which way he's facing. And then he's gonna pass it. It's like literally a lawyer. Right? Every single thing about it. How is it not a lawyer though? Holy shit, that tornado. Feels good, man. Punch mid here to ruin your games. Triple kill. Radiant's top tower is under attack. 
I swear I even heard the TP finish. That's how close it was. Radiant's top tower is under attack. What are we here? I'll take that. This'll come in handy. Is Slark a law hero? No. Slark is strictly a Dola hero because the entire concept of Slark is auto attacking. And that's Dola, man. Auto attacking is king. Middle tower is under attack. Dire structures are fortified. Is he more farm than punch? No, he's not. It's a little bit behind. Tower is under attack. Yeah, triple bash, I just heard. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> middle tower is under attack. Oh no, dude! Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. If this was any other hero in the game, I think Seeker would just stomp the shit out of them. Any other fucking hero. I think OD was banned, but even so, like anything else, man. A last track mid, OD mid, fucking Rubik mid, man. Sure would have been fine. I guess punch saves from Kono, yeah. That's really about it, though. Pudge is also really nice to stop uh, Shadow Fiend from sieging. Shadow Fiends are quite stationary when they siege, it's easy to get a hook off from uh, smoke. But this early game by Pudge. Uh, it's not looking good, man. Killing spree. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Top tower I'm sure Nisha will carry though. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dire structures are fortified. Radiant structures are fortified. Dire's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. 
Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. <laughs> fuck. What the fuck? Radiant's Bounty. bottom tower is under attack. Tide is Dyer's money. top tower is under attack. Why dog? And Zy dog. Dominating. To budge regeneration. He chronoed his own Sand King! Okay, it didn't matter, but still, what the fuck? Thank god that ended up not magic. Imagine the backlash he would have gotten if Slug lived because he chronoed his own Sand King. Holy shit. under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. When is the push doing something this game? Probably never. Maybe now! Yes! Oh no! Force BKB, I guess. It's a 10 second or 9 second, I'm not sure. That was a 10 second BKB use. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. It's not bad, not bad. I do feel like I'm watching a 4K MMR game. Where some guy, your mid player last picks punch and then proceeds to feed and blame his teammates. I think he did most of that, except for blaming his teammates. Thank you, Kirio, for the 35 months, man. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Ah, fresh meat. This is a very hard matchup against Shadowfin mid as a punch. Like most of the lane deci is decided on like the first two waves whether he gets um, souls or not. It has to be the second wave because the first wave he doesn't get souls. Because he skills raise level 1 and then ferries uh, a bunch of mangoes. And he basically, he had like 9 fucking, <laughs> he had 9 souls in like 1 minute 20 or something. But yeah, he fucking destroyed and then he killed him too. He killed him too, and then maxed out on 12 souls. Stop flaming punch pick, you piece of shit. Oh, you lewd man, dude. How do you not flame this punch pick? It is 19 minutes in, his impact is negative, and you're defending this because you're a little fan gay of this team? 
<laughs> All right, dude. I see you're a very rational person. An actual little fan gay. Logic is expensive. No, that. Dire structures are fortified. Fusion. Dire's top tower is under attack. That should help. Dire's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Oh, it's my favorite team. You're along there, right? Radiant structures. He's only 0 5 because it was a bad day. Oh, Stop blaming him. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, <laughs> so kill. Yeah, well, maybe he gets. Uh, Is that yours? No use. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Da, da, da. My 2K games are ruined. Mid pudges and IO coming up. Players named PMA. To be honest, I don't think it's that bad if you get an IO in your team. I think IO is just really good overall on any position now. Except for maybe 5, because the hero needs farm. I'm sure you can play him 1 to 4. And I'm gonna try... Position 3 IO. Because the skill cap on IO is not that high anymore. Like I said, like the micro involved is... Mostly removed. There's no more toggling E, there's no more... Uh, managing the balls once you get Aghanim. A barely, it's like one button now. Radiance top tower has fallen. Radiance top tower is under attack. Dire structures are fortified. Could Kono here, because his team will reach in time, but... Alright, alright. Zai! Top oh. tower is under attack. He needs to... Oh! The punch! It's useful! He could blink, maybe? Oh, he blinked. What? He just made them also catch the invoker. Oh, the punch is so useful, actually. And another person saved us. There was nothing you could do about that, but you have to look at it a little bit differently. Because now you're looking at the Pudge trying to save people in a situation that's already garbage for them. Let's say it was a different hero mid that actually contested Shadowfiend mid. They might not have needed to back here at all. Like, I don't like playing for situations where you have to save people and when you have to cover for other people's fuck-ups, you know? I want, I want my opponents to uh, have fuck-ups instead. I don't like salvaging games. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I saw the minimap. Mid one couldn't see the minimap because he's not a spectator. <laughs> they were already behind them. <laughs> oh no 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 no. 
Oh, this split up is kind of good for a secret, actually. Oh my god, who gave him that spell? Uh, there, there were all four heroes lingering on this high ground, and Void was ready with his BKB. Like, he, he, his fucking trigger finger was ready. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Money. Dyer's middle tower is under Moral attack. Moral take that. Ay, 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 ay. Oh. A punch can always turn a game around with a good hook, but like I said, you have a punch mid, he loses a lane, now you're forced to turn around a game. How about you have something mid so you don't have to turn around a game in the first place? And there were plenty heroes out there that could have. Well, at least even out on mid. Because in this game, at like 3k net with a punch, a Seth was sitting at like 7k plus. It's a uh, Rubik eating punch. The fire looked kind of weird. Oh, are there any buybacks for this? I don't know if they should because I don't think they can help them even if they buy back now. This could be a tier 2 though. No. Okay, there's no creeps or it's gonna be Roshan instead then. If they're fast enough, it's 40 seconds time. Let's see. Oh, that are 40 seconds. Plenty time with these items already. Sadly, he doesn't have a level 20 talent. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna take two damage per soul with this build. Almost guaranteed. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Is this far from over? No, the game is looking really bad for Secret. If SF gets Aegis, I don't see how they ever kill him twice. Like basically, what's gonna happen is that if he gets Aegis here for free, it could still change. Like right here, maybe he steals Aegis or something. They will siege with SF and he will hit the tower and then oh, Void took it. Alright, then Void will hit the tower and there's nothing that can stop him. They can't even kill this Void once, like how are they gonna kill him twice? Dyer's bottom tower is what under attack. What would have been ideal for secret? Well, they had last pick, didn't they? What was it? Was it last pick or second last pick? I think they picked Pudge into SF, right? Yeah, that was absolute last pick. So you could have picked basically anything that does at least averagely well against SF. And there's a lot of those. They have like Linas and, and Lestrax and all those heroes that all be just you find against them. And I'm sure mid one has like a hero or two that fucks SF's mid too. It is Somnus SF though, like this guy's a fucking god tier laner. So don't get me wrong. It's just that Pudge definitely doesn't put him in a good spot to begin with. Yeah, DP would have been fine too. A lot of things would have been fine. This was not fine. Dire structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Oh, if he gets a stuff in a bad position here, then maybe he gets to feed him an extra kill. Not bad. Because this way, Asaf doesn't have to buy Blink. Dire's bottom tower is under attack. Oh, he lived? Fuck. I saw. Oh, stick. <laughs> Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Yeah. Radiant structures are fortified. Pudge can win, of course. Pudge can win mid against SF. But it's so fucking random, man. Like, if SF gets good souls... In, like, the second and third wave, it's just over. 
If he doesn't get souls, then you're gonna have an average lane for Pudge. If you play really well and you fucking destroy him somehow, then good for you, but the odds are low. And Sav didn't just gush the first few waves in this game, he killed him. He almost had 9 soul, uh, max souls before he killed him, and then he got max souls because he killed him. Sadly, SF is also one of the harder punishers too, if you lose the first few minutes of the laning phase. You just can't last it against something doing 120 damage per hit at like level 3 or something. Of Aegis, he never lost it. He never lost it. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Very nice. You're mine. Really bad position for Invoke again too. He had a decent net worth at like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And just kind of stayed the same. Yeah, he formed like 2k gold in 20 minutes with me. 20 minutes time. Hmm. Cleaver's edge will never die. And Roy is not the hero you want to play attack. against when you only have one farmed core, man. Because he's gonna get chronoed every single time. It's so easy to avoid for Void to play if you can just always chrono the one most farmed core. All you have to do is worry about the hook. But even hook is. It's not that big of a deal if you're ready for it. Top tower is under attack. Uh, you can even just body block the hook, which is going to punch at the same time with other heroes. As long as you're aware of it, that he's gonna try to hook someone out that you call note, you can do something about it. Well, here's the void you have to kill once only. No Aegis. They weren't ready for the. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Yeah, all I have to do is be aware of the hook, so he body blocked it. One kill maybe. They should just leave him, yeah. All spells are used, no point to risk. I mean there's a chance I could have turned and killed them, right? Because they have such a high net of advantage that maybe the items will just make up for the lack of uh, lack of ultis. But there's no point to take that risk. It's not even that big of a kill. Just 400 gold. There's no lotion to be taken. And only a tier 1 tower for bottom. I don't think they'll get tier 2. 
think a lesser team would have uh, tried to fight this and then maybe lost the fight. Illusion. I really like that they just cut the losses there. Now this... This is a bit- Oh! Who gave him hook? Uh, it's still very sloppy to get caught like this though. Oh my god, they don't even get the void! And now they're all 1 HP. And Seth wants to die too, so he went in by himself. But Slark does no damage! <laughs> it's very, very sloppy by LGD. Because all they have to do is wait for this fucking spell, and it's over. Because this is minus one hero of their choice. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It's borderline impossible to win for Secret. They would have to kill Void before he gets Chrono off. Or kill Shadowfiend before Void gets Chrono off. Oh! Oh! They have no damage for BKB. Is that Slark? Oh, that was Slark. It's so easy for Slark. Or for, for LGD. So fucking easy. Just chrono the one highest net worth hero and that's it. All the damage is gone. I remember to be gingerly your MMR and now it's picked a lot in TGS weird now. It is picked a lot in TI, and as you can see, position for invoker here is also donating hundreds and hundreds of K of dollars. Invoker 4 position is totally useless this game, it didn't do anything. Radiance middle tower is under attack. And just because something is picked a lot doesn't mean it's good. Radiance it just means there's a certain meta going on. And people Radiance feel like they have to pick it because attack. it's being picked by other teams and then it, it kind of like validates their opinion on the halo, thinking it's good. If you pick it, I pick it, all the team picks it, they all probably think it's good. But then you see like OG, they don't give a fuck, they pick Wisp Carry and then you know they just win every game. Gotta say though, LGD tries really hard to fall. Luckily Shelvin and Boy doesn't let them, but the rest of the team they try so hard to fall. Ay 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 ay. I've played in a lot of tournaments and it's, uh, it's you see the same thing. People a lot of teams they pick things because other teams pick them and they don't know they don't understand the hero, so they just kind of go with it. I wouldn't say it's the same case for Yapzo and Voker here, but you can see it with Podum. That's like the most obvious one to me. This in particular was a really bad invoker game. I remember like one thing he did in this game. That was, he, he got like a tornado off in mid and that's it. And then the rest was like just random cold snaps here and there. Thank you, mostly laughing for the 14 and Lachas is Dola for the 34. Oroki for the 14. Oh, Liquid winning another game. Liquid is back! <laughs> it's fun to play as a position for isn't all about having fun. It's about having fun when you're playing pub games. For TI, nobody plays for fun. 
It's uh, secondary. Yeah, except for OG, they're pretty much just playing pubs anyway. Fucking fountain diving with a slark like no one to the fuck. Killing his opponents like they're trash cam players. What the fuck, dude? This should make my life easier. He's got dagger to 1200 damage. Oh shit, man. Playing support against the PA. I'm watching the secret game game too, yeah. I'll be following every single secret game there is if they're uh, when they're available. Just out like the first few that they played, the first six or so, I couldn't watch them because they happened while I was sleeping. Thank you, 
Mr. Liu as well. For the Prime. Killing spree. Double kill. Your girlfriend and you have agreed to have sex tonight and it will be your first time. Any advice? Lube your ass. This will come in handy. Ember died of all buyback. Also, this PA is so squishy because of UT. Oh my god, it's like she doesn't exist. Oh, he has buyback on Ember now. Might buyback for this OD kill. Yeah, oh, he did it. He did it. Gem. And Tinker no buyback this time. Strike, 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 uh, strike. It's got Lotus ready. Eh, it doesn't matter. Run from death. <laughs> Ocean. Or Rex. Ocean is a safe play. But yeah, they're five dead. They're gonna have to force buybacks. Take your petrified monkey. For the 31 months, man. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dire structures are fortified. Dire's middle tower. If he dies here, I actually don't even know what the fuck he's trying here. Just do it like I did it. I don't know what the PA was trying there. Maybe not a desirable but it worked out extremely well. I feel like he didn't communicate with his team or something, because when he did that play, like only should have bought back or some shit like that. I don't know, it seems so random. It worked out, I guess. Somewhat. They traded, traded diebacks and Ember for, for PA. Da, da, da. Man I could draw 95 for the 23 and Dirt Man for the 50 bits. Just do it like I did it. Broke my foot and wake up early because of the pain. Maybe not a desirable option, but sometimes you have to look on the bright side. Escape velocity. Broke your foot? Sounds weird, man. I've never broken a bone before Dyer's in my life. Bottom barracks are under attack. How do you even break a foot? Dyer's <laughs> bottom barracks are under attack. Because I never worked. I worked eight years in a restaurant, sir. Now that's something else right there. Okay. 
Who doesn't have BKB? Oh, 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 big call. Got the Tinker. But oh, Tinker's back. Seems okay. Can't, can't just go in with Tinker now because uh, this dog is alive soon. Kind of weird, man. Never refuse gold given. Why well, see I'm level 25 of a desolator? Isn't this kind of weird? What is this? 250 attack speed. Oh, mass buybacks. You've been debated. That's easy, right? Two heroes dead for two minutes. Is a level 25 talent plus five Malefice instances? It stuns eight times? <laughs> what the fuck? I guess it's easy to dispel, but still. What do you think about this 100% win rate? I'll carry on Animasta. I think it's overpowered. And I'm glad we're seeing it here at TI. Because it's a surprise pick. And there's not many core players in the world that are able to play Wisp. Even though it's not that hard to play right now. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. Captured in the plane. Dyer's middle barracks have fallen. What the fuck? Dyer's middle barracks have fallen. Stop looking at the CM. What the fuck is this? Thank you, Barry Lock One, for the twenty five months, Mass twenty for the two months. LGD's turn to ban. Radiant team ban. Won't IO just be banned all the time? It depends. Medals are usually shaped in group stages between uh, within the tournament of the group stages and then after that in groups after group stages medals shape uh, between teams and then you'll Five see what really matters when things get banned dire team ban Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. I also feel SD is uh, a bit overtuned. SD's W is, is something else, man. And if it was just W, Dying it'd, it'd be fine. Pick. But then his e spell also destroys laning phase. But yeah, just just coming back to that W, it it destroys every type of hero in the game. At any point, without any item. Dire team like sometimes hit. you have skills that are really Mirana. good, but they need something else. You know, like like a bling dagger to close the gap or something, or oh, may maybe some God. more items for physical damage that that amplifies it for like PA crit or some shit like that. But this skill from Chal Demon, it doesn't need anything. 
Are you ready for CM carry in solo? Like even just one point in the Don't W is insanely master. good. I seen this at T E A H. And Paul the Mogul again. It's very popular picks these two together. Specifically these two remaining. together as well. Thank you, Weedon. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team ban. Admiral Tonka. Could be a mid pollen. Maybe. But likely four. I didn't know until like today that it's actually quite easy to land Pollen Arrows on a 1.5 second stun. And it has something to do with the arrow speed being so much faster. Also they buffed they buff arrow damage. Could be a mid one Kunka, but Kunka has been played a lot on the offlane. Or a lot might Ten be seconds remaining. anecdotal, like I've uh, I've seen it personally a couple of games, Five but I've also not seen remaining. a lot of the other games. And I can only catch one out of four at a time, of course. Team ban. Of course, Ogre is like, breathing aggressively. It's too dumb to breathe through his nose, so he has to breathe through his mouth. He needs to learn it. I'm gonna follow both position fours in this game: the Pollen and the Invoker. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. I guess the nice thing about having a position for Pollen is that it's really easy to invade jungle by herself. Because she's so fucking hard to kill. Thank you, Harp, for the 15 months. Yeah. Having three leaps just makes her impossible to catch for most heroes in the game. Thank you, Crixus, for the 20. It does kill Calipult easy. But dedicating an entire position for spot Dire to kill Calipult seems a bit too much. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Huh. Alchemy is not touched again. Huh. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Pick. 
That's why Chinese teams really like stun heavy lineups. A lot of stuns. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Uh, lots of stunts is uh, it makes punishing easy. Makes initiating it easy too. You don't have to worry about BKBs ruining your uh, combos. Dire team pick. Da, da, da. Happy birthday. Thank you, Rice Rice Rice, for the 41. Radiant team pick. We hold the horn of Magnus. See that? Stun after stun after stun after stun after stun. Ten seconds remaining. Da, da, da. I've seen Magnus on both three and four as well. Five so it's so weird. Like remaining. LGD's lineup could do anything right now. Any lane combinations, but it's probably going to be something with Ogre, Mage, uh, Ogre and Paul in the same lane, ban. and then like a tiny mid, maybe five Magnus. I I don't know. Thank you, Kino, for the two months. I should watch more Chinese teams. They really have a different idea of um. Laning phase at least, compared to western teams. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Who is the core for LGD? Not sure. Maybe Troll Warlord? A lot of things can work. Radiant team Troll Warlord is a nice one because he kills buildings and Roche. Void is nice for control, but it's not so good. Oh, actually, uh, Tiny is different now. You can go Agon and Tiny, and it's insanely good synergy. Like normally I hate Tiny and Void together in the same lineup. Especially since they both jump in, but it's different now. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Anti-mage. AM could work. But it's risky because if you go AM, you basically forfeit like the first 15 minutes of your game. And you're not even guaranteed to win late game because there's a lot of chainstone catch and one of the better late game heals out there too. Radiant team pick. Axe. An axe in his lane. Slark is banned. Team pick. Almost 12 months thanks I like Life Seeder a lot against Kunga and Jakiro. And Invoker. <laughs> yeah, I, I think my choice would be like Oh, it's banned. Life Seeder is banned. It was last banned here just now. I just noticed. Five seconds remaining. Thank you, Sireta, for the 11 months. When's the tiny guide? Soon, dude. Soon. The second carry I hate playing against is a Kunka is a uh, Juggernaut. Faceless void. So they go for the Hero. Void. For even more control. So much disables on that lineup. Every single hero has some kind of disable. Polym is the only one that needs a pre-stun. 
Now, uh, Void is a really good combo with uh, Pollum too. It's basically a guaranteed minus one, especially since Team Secret has no proper saves. They have long range stuns though, like maybe Tornado or Torrent, both. But no swap, no, no orc or ulti or something like that. So mid, mid Kunka, four invoker, three X. Yeah, makes sense. God damn, this axe looks like he's gonna grab some ass. He has briefs with axe on it. Ah oh, shit, man. They should have given him a bigger ball when he ulties something. No. This way, no, that way. Come on, man. Go let the ogre lead. Ogre needs to lead. Stop ruining the game. No, they ruined the game, but not letting the ogre lead. Although I don't think the ogre would have reached anyway. Thirty seconds to battle. <laughs> the battle begins. I'll play after this. I have had enough of watching games. Gonna watch my boy Bruce! I own some tiny mid. Look at that. 3 2. First wave. He basically won the entire game already. Oh, oh. Lost. Game over. It's over. Oh, yeah, that's over. <laughs> well, it looks like looks like it's all attacks are healing him. Opinion for Pollen position four is not changing. Our 
gain power. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. He had no chance of killing him there actually because he had both stuns ready still. But it's looking damn good down here in middle lane. CS is even though, huh? What position is good for Podom then? Mm, Windrunner is a really good position for Podom. But not as 4. Position 4 Podom, like, like I said, I really think you need heroes that can combo for you. If you play position for Pollen, like you need a Kunkka mid on your team. It's the opposite team now. OD mid, maybe SD safe lane, and then you offlane Ogre or something. Like all these things you can combo the arrow. You cannot rely on random random arrow hits to, to land just like that. Or maybe like do you do you see this right now? Do you fucking see this right now? It's just so first blood! That's what happens when Axe gets his hands It's so on you. pathetic when you look at it. And then imagine that this is one of the best players in the fucking world. Top 80 at least. Literally top 80 in the fucking world. And then this shit happens, you know, like, oh my god. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh boy. That's not worth for an ogre. Look, look at this. Look at this. How does this work? 191 gold for the kill and then 452 for the other one. How does that work? The final calculation. FY is like top 10 support in the world and he can't make bottom 4 work. <laughs> Who the fuck will? Like, are you kidding me, dude? Oh my goodness. The prize is mine. Invisibility. Every game I follow the Podom around, they're so useless. Like, sometimes they get like a random arrow here and there. Sometimes they fall up into uh, some other stun. But for the most part, the, use of, the usefulness is just from um, using ulti. And letting your team sneak in. Like, this kind of gang strike, like almost any position 4 can do it. Like, like, there's nothing to do with Podom here. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Then why are they picking it? That's my question. Like, why are they picking it? I don't know. I've, I've seen this before, like this reason. Killing catapults for pushes, but... Uh, dedicating like a whole support just to kill a catapult is a bit too much. Level 25 problem is super good, but you will never pick any support with the idea of hitting level 25. Because most games end before that. top tower is under attack. And it's not just that most games end before level 25, it's also that a lot of Dota games are decided in the first 15 minutes. Master Samsung played this in honor of your favorite Chinese. I do like the ulti on the bottom for as a position for. It's very good. A bit long cooldown though. Since every single laning phase I've been watching, they've been so useless.
Ah, denied. Shadowray for the 13 months and JNJN underscore for the 22 in honor of my favorite Chinese cartoon. Oh boy. Not so safe harbor, eh? Straight to the bottom. JVN for the 13 months, man. How much natural does Invoker have? Not much. So Invoker also had a really bad game, it seems. It's behind the bottom we had a bad game. <laughs> Mid one's been having a good game. That matchup is kind of weird too. Tiny versus Kunka. Thank you, Possum Loss for the 14. It's a big stack. It didn't. It didn't stack. <laughs> da, da, da. Sing Sing Fei. Check out the song after this one, man. Yes! Feels good, man. Set up. I hope you all enjoy playing Dota game and not I enjoy the um the high level part of Q games a lot. They're super nice to play. Hello! Man, those look like desolator hits. You lose face. What hero is not in the fight right now? Invoker and Magnus. Feels good, man. See good winning. <laughs> 